am Mike James. Lagos' governor, Baba Jenis Ondo, has called for continuous efforts to provide human capacity solutions to stakeholders in the state's public service using innovation and technology-driven resources. Governor Sohulu, who stated this at the 30th anniversary of Lagos State Public Service Staff Development Center, PSSDC, in Magudu, said the center has a bright future that will enable it to compete favorably with other international institutes. PSSDC in 2007, as you can imagine, it has also sort of grown with around, it was a massive, massive grant, in which even people, residents in Magudu, want to cut it into two, I don't really need residential. But we didn't let it happen because we saw a vision. If you see at that time, our people are needed assets. That are people we needed to preserve them. We needed to believe, otherwise the others did not believe that they can survive. That the vision behind establishing the public service staff development center was a real vision and we needed to preserve it. The governor also urged people to rediscover themselves and seize the future with new learning tools, innovations and ideas. Also speaking, Legacy Head of Service, Bodiaguru, acknowledged the roles of the PSSDC in enhancing capacity building, driving reform and fostering professionalism in the public service. Since the establishment center has carved a niche and provided cutting-edge learning and development programs in the public service of the state. Tremendous observed impact under the dynamic and focused management. The center has successfully designed and implemented the change program that has revitalized its processes, outlook, capacity, learning and development, and delivery, and has validated its claim to be a public service organization with a private sector orientation. Agar also urged members of the PSSDC to continue to strive for excellence, innovation, and collaboration with a view to surpass various achievements by the center. In his opening address, the Director General of the PSSDC, Adi Kumilola Adio Moses, commended Governor Somolu for his unwavering support, which has propelled the center to be the leading public service capacity building institution in Africa with a world-class reputation. The Lagos State Teaching Service Commission, TESCOM, has commemorated World Teachers Day with a colloquium held at Ikeja Senior School Hall, Boladio Shudi, Lagos. Speaking at a program with the theme, Valuing Teachers, Voices Towards a New Social Contract for Education. The chairman of the Lake State Teaching Service Commission, Victoria Peregrino, said the event was put together as a sort of training with blend of lecturers, symposium, and networking to appreciate Lagos teachers. Peregrino, who was represented by the director of Teachers Education and Capacity Development, Bidemi Aloba noted that the colloquium, which is the second edition, is meant to be an annual initiative designed to bring teachers in Lagos public schools together to brainstorm on tropical issues that is expected to further inspire, educate and improve their skills in the teaching careers. Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Udashi Robasa, has felicitated with teachers in the world on the occasion of this year's World Teachers' Day. Over signed a statement signed by the Chairman, House Committee on Information, Strategy and Security, Stephen Ogundikbe, said teachers are more than just instructors, describing them as mentors, guides and role models. According to him, teachers possess the unique ability to ignite a passion for learning, inspire curiosity and instill values that last a lifetime as they also create safe and inclusive environment where students can explore their potential, ask questions and develop critical thinking skills. The Speaker assured that the Lagos Assembly will continue to uphold policies to place education at the forefront of development as well as welfare of teachers. Nigeria is set to host the inaugural West Africa Cotins Show. The program themed Connecting the Cotins Industry in Africa will be hosted by the Paints Manufacturers Association of Nigeria and DMG Events Curtains Group. Chairman Paints Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Abim Bulu Babatunde, said a program which will hold between 2nd and 4th of July 2025 in Victoria Island, Lagos, will ultimately lead to production of products that would meet international standards, boost capacity and enhance global view. Babatunde said... Through this initiative, Nigeria will explore the African continental free trade area by taking a bold step 
to tap into the benefits of employment opportunities, direct investment and technology transfer in the sector. We were thinking of shifting the 2024 edition of our biannual quoting show to 2025 due to the prevailing economic situation in the country. It is my sincere hope West African quoting show will lead to an increased exhibitor our visitor participation from across the West African sub-region, expose Nigerian paid to better quality, new and latest raw materials, equipment, and technology. Executive Vice President DMG Events Ben Greenish said Nigeria was being targeted based on its population size as an emerging market on construction, coatings, chemicals and hospitality as the company organized over 100 business exhibitions across the world yearly. So we're in very much a high population emerging market here in uh, Nigeria one of the biggest populations uh, in the world, and, and uh, uh, certainly in Africa, uh, with a very promising future. I uh, believe in the next 10 years, Nigeria will be a top 10 economy in the world, and therefore business to business sectors like construction, construction excuse me, and coatings are obviously very relevant to that growth. Also speaking, the Associate Director of the organization explained that the program was an ideal platform to tap into new and existing markets in West Africa, which include chemical, raw and innovative materials and events, which create a unique comprehensive environment for stakeholders to network. Ogun State Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, Abayomi Arigbabu, has saluted Nigerian teachers, resilience and courage amidst identified challenges as the World Teachers' Day is marked. Arik Babu made a commendation in a statement to rejoice with the teachers in the state on the occasion of this year's World Teachers' Day. He said that the theme of this year's celebration, valuing teachers' voices towards a new social contract for education, speaks of teachers' essential role in shaping society's future. Arik Babu noted that teachers' passion, sacrifice and devotion to profession are not only invaluable but also critical to the success of the education system and development of the nation. The Commissioner called on all stakeholders to continue to join hands with the government to build an education system that values and uplifts teachers' voices to foster a brighter future for all. In some foreign news, the U.S. military says it carried out 15 strikes against targets linked to Iran-aligned Houthi fighters in Yemen, where residents reported blasts at military outposts and even an airport. Central Command, which oversees U.S. forces in the Middle East, said the targets were tied to Houthi offensive military capabilities, but did not detail whether that included missile, drone or radar capabilities. The Houthis have carried out nearly 100 attacks on ships crossing the Red Sea since November and say they are acting in solidarity with Palestinians in Israel's year-long war in Gaza. They have sunk two vessels, seized another, and killed at least 14 seafarers. And over to sports news, the Nigeria women's cricket national team has moved up four places in the latest international cricket Cantu T20 rankings, jumping from 28 to 24th position in the world and 6th in Africa. The Nigeria women's senior team's last engagement was in June, but this rating was enhanced by the achievement of the under-19 women's team and the just concluded ICC T20 Women's World Cup Africa qualifier in Kigali, Rwanda, where Nigeria picked Africa's tickets to the 2025 World Cup. Earlier this year, the Nigerian women were ranked 26th in the world after their bronze winning feat at the African Games in Ghana. And that was our news at one, but just before we go, maintain adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Samuulu administration supplied 86,000 dual furniture sets to 775 public schools? When you can get more details, it's on the Legacy Government website. And for contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. 
That is an news broadcast compiled by Sodic Yusuf. My name is Mike James. Beautiful afternoon to you, Lagos.